This is the concept, language, and notation of cube root. I would have students look at the cube of four with me, and I would say that if we look along the edge, we can count four beads. If we look along the face of this cube, we have a four square. We have four here, four times. What makes this a cube is that we have a four square and we've taken it four times. So we can find the value of this cube by multiplying four times four times four. And we know that the value of the four cube is 64. We can also say that the cube root of a four cube is four, or that the cube root of 64 is equal to four. We can take out another cube with the students and we can look at the seven cube. Again, we can see that the face of the seven cube is a seven square, and that we are taking the seven square seven times. So we can find the value of the seven cube by multiplying seven times seven, seven times. And we know that the value of that is 343. The cube root of seven cubed is equal to seven. I would show the students the three cube and we could go through the same steps of finding the value of the three cube. And the students could do this with each of the cubes from the bead cabinet. I would go back to the four cubes so that I can show them how to write the notation for the four cube. We found the value of the four cube. We know that that is 64. So we're going to write the radical and it's going to be similar to our square root. But this time, we're not just finding the square, we're finding the cube. So we're going to indicate that with a small number three. And we know that the cube root of 64 is four. The students could continue this work by writing a chart showing the cube root of the one cube all the way to the nine cube. We know that any number has a square root and we can also discover that any number has a cube root. We're gonna do that by using the two centimeter cubes. And for this first example, we're going to start by finding the cube root of 35. So I'm going to count out 35 of our two centimeter cubes. And because we are finding the cube root, our unit is going to be a cube. So we're going to start building our cube. We're building in three directions. We're building out and up and out and then filling in. I know that I won't be able to continue building in that manner with the cubes that I have remaining. So the largest cube that I can build with 35 is I have a three cube. So the cube root of 35 is three with a remainder of eight. With this material, the students can explore cubes up to 250 and again, they'll want to build in three directions and then fill in. And the students can continue to write their notation using this material.